Sorry if my picture is sketchy, but I wanted to make a tutorial for you guys because you guys have been in the comments, you know, asking me where the videos go. So here you go. And you know, I guess this video is better than the other ones because it's more detailed and you know, I'm actually telling you what to do, which people have been complaining about that, and I understand. So here we go. Alright, let's see. All the colors. Alright, now click on your eyedropper tool in this one, and click on your second color. Oh, my mom's snoring in the background. Hmm. Alright, well, <coughs> shadows, you usually want to put them under the hair area. You know, I'm not really good at explaining what to do because, you know, I don't know. For me, most of the time I just improvise and just do whatever my hand does, you know? but I'll try my best. I'll usually put them like anywhere that the lines are. I don't know if you know what that means, but I don't even know if I know what that means either, <laughs> but just do what I do. It also all really depends on where your light source is coming from, but at this point I don't have a light source. So, Alright, well I'm going to put a little dot next to the nose. And I'll usually color under the neck area. I color the whole under the neck thing because in real life you'll notice that your neck does create a big shadow. Alright, and then color here. <coughs> I mean, it's just like go with the flow. Be chilled. Alright, let's see. You know, if there was a light source right now, I could. It would be so much easier for me to show you where to put the shadows, but sadly there isn't, so. Let's just do what we got. Alright, well. Since there's like a skirt here, you want to make the shadow like a little lower. I don't know, this is so hard to explain. But, I don't know, I think you guys get the idea. Well, I hope you do. Right now, the coloring may look really yucky, but when you zoom out to the original size, it looks so much better. Oh, and I'm sorry if you hear the fan in the background, but right now, it's really hot in my house, even though it's winter, but hey, uh, I guess I'm like a penguin. I don't know if that was a correct analogy or not, but hello. Alright, well, we're done shadowing, and now, or shadowing the first part, now we're going to shadow again over the shadow. You know what that means? <laughs> Alright, we should do the same thing, but a little higher. Oh, and by the way, this character is um, a character I made up about a year ago. Her name is uh, Mi Nori. And, um, she's supposed to be one of the characters from an online comic that I've been trying to work for over a year, but sadly it is way too difficult. Because you gotta keep up and people, you know, they start complaining and blah blah blah. But, yeah. Maybe one day I'll get around to it. She's really a really good character. So proud of her, so you guys don't take her. You'll make me cry. 
Oh, and it doesn't matter if you're sloppy, because we'll just erase all that after. Right here, I'm being very sloppy with my clearing on you. I don't know if this is even worthy of a tutorial or not, but... Yeah. I think I'm going to have to separate this into parts. Make it a little smaller to make the two dots here. Ooh, what is this? <coughs> it always pops up like every ten minutes. Alright, now that we've done that, we want to go to the blur tool, like I said we would, to soften up the edges. <coughs> and like I said, or I didn't say, um, you want to just blur random edges, but leave a little hardness here and there, so it could add texture to the picture. Just blur here and there. Like it at corners, that's what I usually do. Alright, that's good enough. And now what you want to do is <coughs> click on the burn tool and you want to make it big or smaller well, depending on the area that you're going to be coloring. And just uh, pass it or drag it through around the spot to make it a little darker. I usually do this especially in the neck. Let's see. Just like that. Especially areas under something like the skirt or the neck, you know, things like that. Just to define those areas. Alright, well now you want to start erasing the areas that shouldn't be colored over. I'm so sorry for my accent, but I am a Spaniard. Um, I hope you understand me. Some people say my accent is very strong, but I don't believe them. I don't know. <coughs> sorry. Oh no! My color, I erased the, my coloring. So you gotta be careful with that sometimes. Do the hand and the thigh and here, which I don't know what to call it, but yeah. You know what? You don't even have to erase this. Like, you don't have to erase, like, the skirt or the hair part, because when you make a new layer, you're going to make it on top of the skin, which, co when you color, it covers the skin part, like, colored. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but... Yeah. But areas, like, around it, you do have to erase. Me, since I'm, like, a parent...